Hello everybody, welcome back to The Breeze, in which it's time for yet another breezy premiere of a game show game. But before we tell what it is, I have Ready Unknown Fox and Robo Rager 1. Hello. Hi. You know what? I'm not going to tell them what the new game is. Why don't you guys do it? Jeopardy uh, Platinum. For the DOS. Yes. Released in 1996. Okay. This is Jeopardy. Yes, it is. Oh, crap. Hang on a minute here, folks. Okay, yeah, we're going to move that to the center. A little to the right. Downward. We're good. Start. She'll be a computer player. She'll be a computer player. And I'll be him. Name, uh, no, no. Name. How do I go to name? Oh, there we go. A, U, B, or E, Y. Okay, we're all set. And now, here is our host, Alex Trebek. Thank you, Johnny Gilbert. Hello, ladies and gentlemen, and welcome to your favorite game of Answers and Questions. We know who the contestants are, so let's go to work in the first round, the Jeopardy round, which has the one daily double. This is Nito. Here are the categories. Quotations. Okay. Literature. Okay. Compound words. All right. TV. Okay. Moscow. The Cold War. All right. Uh, quotations for 100, please. Variety reported the 1929 stock market crash with the headline, This Street Lays an Egg. How do you buzz in? What is Fifth Avenue? No. No, sorry. How do you buzz in? Hang on a minute, folks. I need to sell. Yeah, there is. I could. Could do that. Select a clue, use the arrow keys, okay. Player one uses the tab key. Okay, I got it. So I need to use the tab key. Where is the tab key? Hang on. Tab. Tab. Where's the tab key? Should be above the caps lock. Oh, I see it now. What is Wall Street? That's a correct response. Select again. All right. That sounds like the version for the Nintendo 64, the way Alex says it. Quotation is 200, please. The 19th century novelist Margaret Wolfe Hungerford wrote that is this is in the eye of the beholder. Oh, right. What is uh, beauty? You're right. Okay. I'll take uh, quotations for 300, please. Welshman, who wrote, the joy and function of poetry is and was the celebration of man. Who was Dylan Thomas? That's a correct response. Select again. Dylan Thomas, yep. Okay, um... The Cold War for 500. In June 1967, LBJ and the Soviet leader met for the first time in Glasgow, New Jersey. Uh, I'm not too sure about this one. Who is Nikita Khrushchev? Gosh, that's wrong. Hey, Jay! Uh, Some of Alex's uh, video and audio is also used in the Nintendo 64 version. Wow. And yes, as soon as we finish this, I'll gladly send you a copy. That's right. Pick again. Okay, so Kathy got it right. She has $800. Now where are we going? TV for 500 On this sitcom, Richard Crenna played student Walter Denton and Gail Gordon was Principal Osgood Conklin. I think I know, but I'm not too sure. What is room 222? No, that's not right. Anyone else? Mary's not off to a good start. She fails. Miserably. I think it's Welcome Back Cotter, but I'm not too sure. What is Our Miss Brooks? That's right. Pick again. It is Our Miss Brooks, so Kathy got that one. Okay. Literature for 300. This author of The Age of Innocence also wrote some ghost stories. 
gonna tell you, these clues are not easy. Well, that's why it's Jeopardy Platinum. Who is Henry James? Sorry, wrong. Kathy got it wrong. Do da, do da. Yeah, that's why it is called Jeopardy. That's right, Jay. Mm -hmm. I wonder if this would work on my DOS box. We'll have to try it and see later on. Yeah. Who was? Oops, I don't know. No, sorry. <laughs> Oops, I don't know. Mary, you are making a Bika Rupa of yourself. <laughs> Bika Rupa. That was for Mary. Edith Wharton. Edith Wharton. Okay. Quotations 400. Robert Louis Stevenson called this institution a friendship recognized by the police. Ay, ay, ay. I don't know. What is marriage? Yes. So Kathy gets that one. Okay, um... The Cold War for 300. In March 1946, Winston Churchill said that this has descended across the continent of Europe. I don't know anything about the Cold War. What is an iron curtain? That's right. Pick again. Yes. So Kathy gets that one. Okay, now where we go. Compound words 300. As Cher could tell you, this lunar adjective means days and romantic sentiment. Oh, what is Moonstruck? Oh, yeah. Yes. All right. I'll take compound words for 100. Originally, this noun referred to an evil spirit said to oppress sleepers. Now it's any terrifying dream. What is a nightmare? You got it. Compound words for 200. These feathered friends that can fly backwards are named for the noise their wings make. Hummingbird. All right. Right. Thanks, Jay Meister. Compound words for 400. This word for an intellectual could also refer to someone who's obsessed with omelets. What is an egghead? Yes. All right. Compound words for 500. This organ splitting feeling might be caused by psoriasis. I know it has something to do with liver. Heartbreak. Oh, heartbreak. Okay, well, never mind. How about, um, quotations for 500? We hand folks over to God's mercy and show ourselves none, she wrote in Adam Bede. I don't know. Who is George Eliot? That's right. Yes. Pick again. So, Kathy got it right. She has a $900 lead over me. TV for 400 This family on Father Knows Best lived at 607 South Maple Street. Hmm, I don't know. Who are the Cleavers? Gosh, that's wrong. Mary, how did you even get to be on the show, you dillweed? She has minus 1800 and she is making a complete... Bika Rupa Dillweed of herself. Who are the Andersons? That's right. Pick again. So Kathy got that one. TV for 100. His characters on Saturday Night Live included the Samurai Warrior and a Killer Bee. I have no idea. Who was John Belushi? That's right. Pick again. Mary finally gets one right. Finally. Literature for 500. Daily Double. She's going to wager 100. His 1874 novel, Far From the Matting Crowd, begins with a description of Farmer Oak. Who was Thomas Hardy? Right. Good job, Mary. Moscow for 400. In 1856, this great Moscow theater was expanded to a capacity of over 2,000. <sighs> Don't know. What is the Kaminsky Theater? Sorry. Gosh, it's wrong. You got it wrong. You got it wrong. You really suck. Ow. Oh, well. What is the Bolshoi Theater? That's right. Pick again. Mary got it right. She's at minus 1,200. Where do we go? Okay, we're going to literature for 100. Dostoyevsky's book about these title brothers is considered his masterpiece. Shoot, I don't know. 
Who are the brothers Karamazov? Karamazov? Right. So Kathy has a thousand dollars more than me, but that's okay. Moscow 100. The first of these restaurants opened in Moscow in January 1990. A Big Mac's cost about cost was about six dollars. What is McDonald's? That's right. Pick again. A place I'm not very fond of. Moscow 200. Over two thirds of the city burned down while occupied by this French general in 1812. Uh, who is Napoleon? That's right. Pick again. Moscow for 300, please. This crenellated red brick building is at the heart of the city's concentric ring pattern. What is the Kremlin? Oh, no. Kremlin. Yes. Yep. Kremlin. Moscow for 500. Each of the nine towers of this red square cathedral is different in color and design. Hmm. What is St. Cyril's? No, I'm sorry. It's wrong. It's wrong. So I have a $100 lead over Kathy at this point, which is good. Red Square Cathedral, uh, not too sure. What is, oops, I don't know. Gosh, that's wrong. <laughs> you fail. Is there a pause button? It is rumbly. Well, there's not a pause button on here, but that's okay. So that way, whenever I get ready to transfer the video, I can pause whenever I need to. Right? Yep. Right. St. Basil's. St. Basil's. Okay. I'll have a TV for 200. On Family Matters, this character was introduced as Laura Winslow's blind date from hell. Who is Steve Urkel? Or no, I guess I better just put who is Urkel. Urkel Stephen Q. That's right. Pick again. Alright, I used to watch Family Matters back in the day. TV 300. Job shared by Florence Johnston, Alice Nelson, and Hazel Burke. What is, um, uh, Housekeeper? You got it. Make another selection. Yeah, the house, uh, Alice Nelson one helped me, because she was the housekeeper on the Brady Bunch. Literature 200. Uh -huh. An ex-preacher named Jim Casey accompanies the Joes to California in the Steinbeck novel. Whoa, oh. What is the... Grapes of Wrath. There. You're right. Literature for 400. This southerner detailed the the decline of the Compson family in a 1929 novel, The Sound and the Fury. Who is William... No, not William Savvy. Uh, who is William Faulkner? That's right. Pick again. He's the right one. Yeah. Cold War for 100. At this French leader's request in 1967, NATO removed its headquarters from France. 67. Hmm, I'm not too sure about this one. Who was Francois Mitterrand? No, I'm sorry, that's wrong. Sorry, that's wrong. <laughs> and Mary, you're making a peek peek a roopa of yourself. And this is for you, Mary. <laughs> Who was Charles, Charles de Gaulle? Yes. Yeah, and also That's Mary's making a Cold War 200. In August 1963, the U.S. and the USSR set up this communications link to reduce the risk of war. Not only that, but Mary's making a foxy woxy of herself. <laughs> what is the hotline? That's right, right again. Okay, we have one clue left. Yeah, final clue. In response to a Soviet blockade, the West airlifted supplies into this city in 1948 and 1949. I think I know, but I'm not too sure. What is Moscow? No? No, sorry. The other one I'm thinking of is St. Petersburg, but I wouldn't go for it just yet. I'm thinking it's a German city. I'm thinking I'm it's a city in Germany. I'm thinking it's a city in Germany, but we'll find out. What is. Oops, I don't know. That's wrong. Gosh, that's wrong. Gosh, Ma that's wrong. Mary, if you keep playing like this, you're not going to be around for Final Jeopardy. <laughs> what a chode. I'm thinking it's Berlin. I would have been right. It was Berlin. Ah. Oh, well. No problem. On to the Double Jeopardy round. Yes, we will go to Double Jeopardy. But first, I'm going to transfer the video. So that way we don't run out of time. We'll be right back, folks. Don't go away. Yes.